Okay. Cuddle bone casting. Here we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the hot pot. It looks like it has pewter in it. Okay. So like I said, this is the hot pot and it's got, it gets up to 450 degrees. When I actually handle this, um, I'm going to be wearing gloves. Um, Jake, there's a big bowl of sand in there to the right and the back. Okay, when you get cuddle bone, it looks like this. There's going to be like a shell part on the outside and then the actual cuddle bone on the inside, which is very soft. You can just dig into it so easily with your nail. Okay, in order to get it like this, you're going to have to take a jeweler saw and just cut off. So, you don't want to cut too much off. Good. All right, so for video demonstration purposes, I'm going to pretend like we saw it all the way through it, and now I'm going to use this, okay? Now, uh, when you've sawed a nice little flat spot at the top, again, it looks like this. It's going to be very bumpy, um, and you can't work with this because eventually... We're going to put it up either against another piece of cuddle bone or this. And you cannot have any space between the cuddle bone and the wood. So this needs to be flat. Um, so what you're going to do is just take some sandpaper. Not really great sandpaper. Some pretty fine sandpaper. And you're just going to do this. Okay. Um, it's going to get all this stuff on it. Get my trash can over this is pretty stinky stuff, and we don't want to leave this on the table either because, again, I've got ceramics next hour, so just put it in the trash can once you get a bunch of it. Just make sure it's a really flat surface until it's totally flat, okay? That's so good. I need some finer sandpaper, I think. It shut off. Oh, okay. We do need um, a fire resistant. And then I don't want it to like spill on it. I just want it to be like. <laughs> Still, it's not always a flat surface. Okay. Let's try this. Well, I think we're still recording, so it's fine. I'll always watch it later. This is not getting the best smoothness I could ever possibly hope to achieve.
Thank you. It's not dangerous. Okay. Now, you have to have a sprue. Okay, so the sprue is the funnel in which the pewter is going to go through. So we're just going to use an X-Acto knife. So it needs to be wider at the top and then smaller at the bottom. Okay, so just kind of gradually going into it's a, a funnel in a sense, is what it is. All right, okay, that's pretty good. All right, I have this specific piece, so don't lose this. We'll keep it on the tray. If you're going to make your cuddle bone into a pendant or a necklace, it needs to have a ring at the top that's connected to the pewter. So we're going to make it out of pewter. And in order to do that, right at the bottom of the funnel, we're going to push this in. Okay, if it's not going to be a pendant, you don't need this. But this is also good for earrings, too. Okay, now I'm just for demonstration purposes going to use this Lego and I'm going to make a Lego necklace. So this is again very easy to push in, but the Lego impression needs to be connected to the circle impression so that all the pewter can flow together and be connected. So. So I want to have the bumps of the Lego, but I also want to have some of the outside of the Lego as well. So I'm going to push in part of the square part of the Lego. So is that deep enough? No. So I'm going to line it up again. Cuddle bone is very cheap. You can buy, um, we buy ours at the feed store on Johnson Drive. I don't think that's going to be deep enough. Moving right in. That's right. So it sounds, sounds like an angry idea, doesn't it? What page? Uh, Can you bring it in to get it deeper? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know why. You would not suggest that. I picked up a lot of the cuddle bone and smashed it along the way. So what I have to do is just go in again and get this stuff out there and then press it in again. So we do have a little brush here. Again, it's very impressionable, but if you get some parts that are just not working for you, or if you need to clean the dust out, use a soft bristle brush. Very soft bristle. Okay. Um, last year we had some like carving for this. Did you have to like Yeah. Just trying to get it good. All right. I think it may be ready just for demonstration purposes. All right. So that needs to be deep enough. I need to make sure that my sprue is actually connecting to the pendant ring part. All right. I think I'm ready. Now, the pewter is not quite melted yet. I'm not even convinced that is pewter. I don't know. It was in there when I got it out of the closet. Okay. All right. 
Okay, when you're um, putting the wood up with the cuddle bone, you're going to need to line it up so that the top edge of the wood lines up with the top edge of the cuddle bone. Okay, so just like this, so that we put it when we put it in the funnel, it doesn't end up spilling up and over the edge of the wood. Okay, now one very important part of this is it has to be very tight. So what I'm going to do is put that there, squeeze it, and secure it. You can attach it to cuddle bone itself. Uh, if you want it to be more three-dimensional. If you just want the back to be flat, then you can do it this way. So it's just going to be a pendant that's going to be projecting this way and the back to be flat. So on this, squeeze it, secure it. Now once you've got it secured, add more tape. A lot of tape. Okay. Squeeze and tape and squeeze and tape and squeeze and tape. Uh, I'm also going to add some tape at the bottom because I don't want the chance of it not being tight enough at the bottom and the pewter all melting down through. That's not pewter, that's an example of an anemone. Squeeze and tape and squeeze and tape. All right, this needs to be propped up somehow so that I can easily pour it into there. I do not want to be holding this while I'm pouring it. So I need to prop it up into something. That's what I'm going to use. This is getting hot. Huh? Yeah, I just don't like the hot. I'm not, I might bring over that hot pad or something to put the pewter out. I don't like having it in the sun. No, uh, that, you see that thing that the crock pot's sitting on? Yeah. So there's pickle in the crock pot, if we could put that aside. Yeah, I don't think the anvil's big enough. Hold on to the blue. Be, but I'm just gonna get it out. It's like so. If you look in here now, you can see that the pewter is melted. It looks like liquid silver, but it's yeah, it's melted. A little bit closer to the pewter than I like to be with the Alright, let's attempt it, shall we? Yes. Should I put should I put some goggles on? I don't know. Just have to I mean since I like to I'm right handed, I'm gonna attempt. All right, so I'm going to, again, I'm the only one that's going to be using the hot pot. I'm going to pour it in just till the pewter gets to the top. And if I overflow, that's fine because you can remelt pewter a thousand times and use it again. 
Oh, and it's running out. Do you guys see how it's running out? So that means it wasn't tight enough or it wasn't sanded enough and there's too many gaps in there. Yeah, so like I said, if it doesn't work the first time, you wait till that cools. It's going to harden and it's going to be a hard little puddle of pewter. And then we just take that, get all the sand off, put it back in the pot, melt it again. So we've got to take this off and um, untape it. But I'll go ahead and show you some finished examples. <coughs> Sometimes this pot gets too hot and you have to unplug it for a while and then replug it in. But again, not something you guys have to worry about so much. This I think is a pretty good example. You can see the texture of the cuddle bone there. This is the parts where some of the pewter has leaked out, but we'll just saw and file that off. This is the sprue where you poured the molten pewter into. That gets sawed off as well. And then you're left with the design itself. And as you can see, you're going to need to end up sawing and filing some and cleaning it off. So it's a process. Okay, but um, this one's too. So you can get some really nice stuff. Okay, that's the basics of it. But obviously, since it didn't work the first time, we'll do it again. But what questions do you guys have? It's starting to stink. You guys smell that? <laughs>